Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. In today's video, we want to talk about the feng shui of the mountain. Last time we talked about the feng shui for the water. The water is usually related to the wealth and the money, and the mountain is usually related to health, relationship, support, and helpful people. So what is a good feng shui for mountain? There are some qualities of good feng shui mountain. The first, it should not be too far or too close to the mountain. When the mountain is too close to a house, it might be too overpowering. The house might look too small and stressed by the big mountain. If it's too far, it might not be powerful as a support. If the mountain looks raw and ugly, then it's not a good feng shui mountain. If it's green and lush, then it has good qi, and it's a better mountain in feng shui. And of course, the location of mountain is important. And you can find the best location according to your house chart. Usually it's based on the seating and facing direction of your house and depending on which style of feng shui you use, you can use the ba zai, the eight mansion style, the flying star or other feng shui schools. Once you figure out your house chart, you will know which direction is the best to have a mountain. Generally, it's good to have a mountain behind your house as a support because we say the backside is a black turtle. So it's good to have a nice shaped mountain behind your house. If you are more detailed, you can also check the Bazi chart of the owner according to the owner's birthday and we will check the five element of the mountain and also the mountain should match the time period for now we are in period eight and the metal shape mountain is very good and for period nine the fire shape mountain is very good too so we will talk about the mountain shape and the five element it's similar to the water shape the metal type is the round one, but it's a big round curve and it's gentle. So this is a very auspicious shape generally for mountain. And the wood type is tall, like a tree, tall and narrow. And the water type is wavy or irregular. It's similar to metal type, but it has more small wavy shape or irregular shape. And the fire type is always a triangular or very sharp angle. The earth type is squarish and rectangular and it's generally good because the mountain is made of earth, the soil. So the earth type of mountain is not too bad. And then we have to look at the mountain in the modern days. In feng shui, we always say when there's one inch higher, it's considered mountain. When there's one inch lower, it's considered water. And we can use the trees, sculpture, or building structures to create your own mountain or take away your mountain if it's in the wrong location. And in the modern days, the buildings are usually the mountains because they are tall and uh, it's everywhere. And it's also considered the wood type of mountain because it's tall and narrow generally. But of course, every building has different shape. Some are more sharp with an angle or triangular than it might be the fire type. So you can look around your neighborhood and see what type of building around your house and see if it's in the right location. And for interiors, we like to have support of mountain too, especially when you sit down or lie down. 
For example, we like to have solid walls behind your bed and uh, tall bookshelves or cabinet behind you when you sit down in front of the desk, especially in the office or the dining room. And if you have a big window behind you when you sit down or lie down, it's not the best feng shui. It's just a symbol of lacking support. Especially when you have traffic behind you when you sit down or lie down, that's not a good feng shui. If you are not sure your bazi and the favorable element, you can check online, just Google bazi calculator and it will show your five element in the A part of your birth chart and usually the element that's lacking in your bazi is your favorable element because that's the one you need to be more balanced and uh, stimulate your potential. That's the basic of the good mountain feng shui. I hope you enjoy it. And in the next video, we'll answer more questions from your comment and email. Thank you very much and talk to you next week.